Welcome, in front of me is a Samsung Galaxy A16 and today I will show you a couple tweaks and tricks you can do on this phone. So to get started, let's open up our settings and in here we're going to navigate first to display. And starting off from the top we have light and dark mode. Now you can choose to permanently swap between those or you can select dark mode settings which allows you to then have it set on a schedule either from sunset to sunrise or on a custom timer. Making it so you're virtually using both of the modes at the same time or at least one of them at any given moment uh, but they will be switching. So it gives you the option to basically have dark mode during the nighttime and light mode during the daytime which arguably might be the best kind of solution. But anyway, moving on a little bit further, we have motion smoothness and here you can choose how uh, what the refresh rate of your device will be. We have 90 and 60, now this device only goes up to 90 unfortunately, uh, but if you don't see much of a difference between 90 and 60, uh, which some people won't, uh, you might be interested in selecting it on the standard as this will give you better battery life compared to the 90. Uh, 90 will look smoother, but will consume more of the phone's battery. Moving on to the next option, it's the screen mode. Here we have a couple options. We have the vivid and natural. By default, I believe the device is set to vivid, though on this uh, LCD display, it doesn't really uh, make that much of a difference, but you can just choose whichever one you prefer more. We also have a couple images that you can uh, choose from uh, to see what the difference will be. Primarily, Samsung's have the reds and oranges orange colors overdone so if you find them to be well overdone you can change to natural and this will be a little bit more toned down and give you a bit more natural looking image now scrolling further down we have the edge panel so this is the all right it's turned off by default i believe it's on i think it's right here barely visible am I correct yes i am so because of the screen protector, I can barely see it, but uh, it is, I believe, enabled by default. So it being turned off, it's not the norm, the standard. But here you can see we have a couple applications uh, right here and we have a couple apps. Uh, the ones on the top are going to be the most recently used applications. The ones at the bottom are the kind of ones that you can add and keep always uh, visible here. Additionally, you can see there is a dual application right here. This is not normal. Uh, you would only have like single apps but what this allows you to do is basically make up combos like the uh, internet browser and the youtube so the way you would do it is let's just say i want to have chrome and youtube not not the garbage samsung browser so here is one I pull this out and i'm gonna grab it pull it out drop it And you can see now I'm split screening with the uh, browser, the Chrome one, and YouTube. And now if I close this, pull out the tab again, you can see it's visible right here at the, f uh, at the top, as this was the most recent uh, application I have used. And what I can do now is just hold it, drag it below, drop it, and you can see now I have access to it. And from now on, I can just tap on this up combo and it will reopen uh, the two applications in the same way that I have saved them. So it gives you this nice quick way to launch uh, split screen. Now, additionally, there's also a bit more functionality to this. So you can click right here and view all the apps. Or you can edit it. This will take us back to the a uh, well, little bit deeper in the settings. Uh, but here you can add more applications, so this list can be scrollable if you want to. I don't know if there is like a specific uh, application limit to how many you can have, but you can have a decent amount, I would say. And even furthermore, if we go back to the settings and click on the text of Edge panel, we can go to Handle. Here we can customize how the uh, little bar looks like. So because it's barely visible right here, I can change the transparency to be a bit uh, lesser, increase the size, change the color and increase the width and now you can clearly see it. Now you can obviously customize it the way you want it to. This is just kind of done in an exaggerated way just so we can see it. Um, so let me just shrink it. There we go, a little bit better. We can also move it up or down and left to right. 
and even more under panels you can add additional panels you can also navigate to the galaxy store to download more uh, the ones in the galaxy store some of them a decent chunk of them that are decent will be actually paid they cost about like buck 99 2 99 so they're not super expensive but it's just kind of annoying that you do need to purchase them um, you can see we have also applications or panels right here that you can choose from the ones that actually are available to us for free uh, there is one that I personally tried to use which is the weather uh, when I used to have a Samsung and this you this used to work completely horrendously I don't know if it's been fixed uh, but the way it worked is this once added which it is added right now when you swipe on this it would look for weather and you can see it's right now searching so what it will happen is when you for instance try to use this tomorrow you pull it out you swap to this panel you then swipe down because you need to manually refresh it for some reason at least that's how it worked for me and then it's going to start refreshing way longer than it did when i added it uh, to the point that for me it was much faster to just do this find weather though i don't really recall where it's here so it would be here and just have that load instead and that would have been quicker than waiting for the panel to actually load uh, like i said it might have been fixed but keep that in mind some of those things might not be as good as they seem now going back to the settings a little bit further down we have also navigation bar uh, this is just the gesture navigation along with the button navigation you can choose between which one you want uh, we have also more options uh, which increases or decreases the sensitivity of the back gesture only and you can probably notice that some other devices have more settings in there but samsung instead of fixing the freaking problem that they had they decided to just completely remove the option because why would they spend money on a premium device because let's be honest this already is overpriced for what it is uh so why would they fix the problem when they can just remove it so less features better right less is more apparently in samsung's idea so yeah uh i still prefer gestures though you don't have the option to hide the bar right here because the way that samsung hit it is not by hiding it but by moving it off the screen below which screwed up the gesture navigation when you try to open it like go home it wouldn't always like recognize this because you needed to be very precise as the bar was literally off the screen you can imagine how stupid that is and furthermore it worked even worse when you would be using a third-party launcher which obviously samsung doesn't want you to use so be very mindful of that there are some iffiness with samsung uh and some of the options uh, if you're using third-party launcher uh, and i'm pretty sure though this is purely speculation it's done deliberately because you can't tell me that a device that costs uh, uh, more than other devices that offer better phones doesn't have the budget to fix it while being also one of the biggest companies um, so yeah now another thing that i want to show which is actually a neat option that is as far as I'm aware, exclusive just to Samsung's is under the sound and vibration, the adapt sound option. Let's swipe down and we have the separate no, uh, sound quality and effects. But that is, I think, where it is, right? Or not. Hmm. Okay, never mind again another option that got removed i got it from this device um would be the adapt sound which i was pretty sure is available to to us on almost every samsung device so not sure why it's missing right here uh but maybe you can check it out maybe it's present uh, for you it would be the option under sound quality and effects and you'd have a third option right here adapt sound or something along those lines and you would have uh, age ranges which you can pick either from the uh, range that you're fall into or you can basically create a custom one which would try to adapt sound profile to your hearing or also your earbuds which is a fairly nice option if you tend to use maybe like cheap earbuds this would uh, hopefully just improve the quality of those a little bit but anyway with that being said this concludes all the tweaks and tricks that i want to show you so if you found this very helpful don't forget to hit like subscribe and thanks for watching